Now this is a patron's question. Um, one of the patrons wrote to me this week and asked me or informed me that he'd bought a second hand machine and he wanted to change the direction or where the machine honed itself. That's actually quite simply done and I'll take the camera off its tripod and I'll show you. Okay so there's two things that need to change. Now first of all you have to make a mechanical change and the second thing you need to make then is a electronic change or a computer change in Mac 3. Now the first thing to change is the actual most of these machines come with uh, just three limit switches and that's where they home off and they mostly don't have end of travel switches they rely on Mac 3 with soft limits okay so I'll just as an example I will take the X axis okay okay so here's my X axis and here's my limit switch okay and it's fairly simple the carriage comes over triggers the the, the switch and registers home. So say for example you wanted to change the home position to register over this side and have the head come over and register on this side. You would physically have to remove the switch from there on the left hand side and mount it on the right hand side and reroute a cable round to it. Now that is the simple um, mechanical side of it and indeed I'll just uh, tell you about the y-axis. Now the y-axis switch is down here. Now this switch again would have to be relocated at the other end of the machine and the wiring would have to be extended up to it. That part is very very simple. In actual fact it's all very simple. Okay so at the moment I haven't altered anything in the electronics or in Mac 3 so I'm just going to show you which direction this goes. Um, so I'm just going to press uh, Riffle that's done. and so the carriage will home over to the left hand side. So we'll stop that a second. So to change the direction of homing you go into config, homing and limits and then ch the axes that you want to change you come over to here and change the tick to an X to make it check home in the opposite direction and press OK and I'll just show you how that's changed. Take the reset off, press ref all and you see now the carriage is moving this way to try and look for the home switch. Now change it back, simple, the very reverse. And here change that to a tick press OK, reset, press ref all and, and it will reference in that direction. Okay, uh, next question is uh, another patron's question. How do you speed up uh, or slow down the rate at which it harms? That's quite simple as well. Uh, just a demonstration of how slowly. I, I like mine to go slow. The slower that you can do it within reason the more accurate it is. You know you don't want it bashing straight into the switch and smashing it because it will. Okay so uh, ref all. 
so you can see that's traveling at a pretty leisurely speed okay so we'll stop that a second and we'll bring it back over here okay I'll take you back up to the screen and show you how to do it in Mark 3. Okay, so you go into config, home and limits, and over in this far right hand side, and we'll do the X again, you'll see that it is speed in percentage of the jog speed. That's the speed at which it homes. So we can change that to should we say 30%? 30% of the total jog speed. Press OK. OK, press Riffle. And you can see it's noticeably quite a bit faster. Stop that. And obviously it's the, re the reverse of that to uh, change it back. OK, next question. A patron has built one of my small CNC routers from my drawings and started it, fired it up the other day for the first time to test it and one of the axes is moving in the wrong direction. Well, I'll show you how to put that right. Okay, so it's up into config, then ports and pins, then motor outputs and you just come to here where it says uh, direction low okay so you just change it in the x um, axis change that to an x press apply press ok and i'll show you the result of that so i'm pressing the six which it should come this way and of course it goes the opposite direction so that's how to change the axis direction, just with a simple ticker or cross in Mark III. The next patron question was regarding a spindle that he'd uh, connected up to his machine, and it's spinning the wrong direction, uh, and he has to keep on changing it, um, put it in reverse on the VFD, to make it actually turn the right way. Easily fixed. Now you can either change the wires up here or the wires on the VFT. There are four wires. There's an earth uh, and there's three poles of the three phase spindle. Change any two of the pole wires any two it doesn't matter and it will reverse the spindle operation so you don't have to keep on changing it down there so it's a fairly simple one there again you can either change it in the plug up here or change it on the VFD itself just change two wires not the earth the earth is totally separate okay just the three poles change any two Next question, this time it's from a subscriber and he wants to know how to speed the axes travel up, in other words how to make your machine run faster and do the job quicker or how to even slow it down. I'll show you how to do that. So this is uh, slow jog speed, this is 100% uh, jog speed. Okay, so now we'll alter that and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so again you go into config, motor tuning, uh, select the axes that you want to change. Uh, we're doing the X. Now, velocity, that's the only one you need to change. I'm going to drop that down to 1000, press save axis settings, press OK. And I'll show you the result of that. And of course the result is very slow. And that's maximum, 
so that is how to well, slow your axes down and of course you raise that number up and it's going to make it faster but be careful making it faster because uh, you know you could start losing steps in, in your motors I have mine running fairly conservative you know so there's no danger of me losing steps at all okay I hope you've enjoyed this Mac 3 CNC little explainer video and uh, you know I will over the coming months uh, make a couple more of these uh, short videos explaining more stuff <laughs> about CNC radars and how to put it right in Mac 3 or indeed in physical terms so don't forget please like and subscribe and if you really like what I'm doing you could consider becoming a patron to the channel patron information is down underneath this video in the video description area so thank you for joining me today and it's bye for now